There's several reasons for our success with the private sector. First of all, we meet a market uh, demand. Uh, they are looking for more diverse um, teams uh, and employees, but they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to look for it. Uh, so there's a market demand. And we meet that market demand because we know how to do it. We know how to grid um, the underprivileged area, how to identify all the station, all the young uh, people from underprivileged area that are looking for jobs. We know how to do that. They don't. Uh, so that's the first thing. The second thing is we've built a model where a company pays for our services and they commit to what they pay. If it's free, they don't commit. If it's not free, they do commit. Um, so that's the second thing. And the third thing is we put a very professional face on our team. Uh, all of us come from HR backgrounds, so we are, our customers speak the same language as we do. Uh, most of them come from, most of us come from underprivileged areas, but we are from HR background and we know what we're talking about. It's a professional face and it works. Uh, that's a tough question. Um, some of them uh, really built a business case of why diversity is important for them. There's a huge uh, phone operator in France that had struggling to create the right offer for the kids from underprivileged areas because it was built by people who know nothing about it. And when they hired a more diverse team, uh, they were able to have a better offer and to sell more. Uh, some, some of them clearly see the business case of diverse teams. Uh, some of them see the innovation coming up out of diversity and they can show you that they get more innovation, more different thinking, creative thinking from more diverse team. And some of them have no clue, <laughs> but they still want to do it for, uh, let's say, uh, value reasons. Uh, if you want to address a market of a diverse population, uh, if you want to address the kids from underprivileged area, if you want to sell something to them, you have to speak their language. You have to have the same uh, cultural reference. Um, if you don't, you will mismatch your target. You will not meet your target and you will offer a product that's not working with them. So you need to have a more diverse team to be sure to have the right uh, product. Uh, we are addressing at least two problems. The first one is employment, is unemployment. Um, you do have a very high rate of unemployment in the underprivileged area, around 50% for the young people. Uh, so 50% is huge, it's one out of two, it's crazy. Um, so we address this market, this problem very directly, but not only, because the message that we send to the kids from underprivileged area, we get a master degrees, so far it's that they're never going to get unemployment because they will be discriminated because they don't have the network. And when they work with us, they do get the job. So we show them that it's possible and there's hope. And, they are, uh, and the problem that we tackle here is the opportunity that you gave and the hope that you gave to this underprivileged area, um, which is a huge problem right now.